me. Nanny. <laughs> Good day, everyone. I'm thrilled to introduce a slight variation to the traditional column method for multiplying two two-digit numbers. This modification is designed to enhance clarity and reduce the likelihood of errors, making the multiplication process more intuitive and straightforward. Let's dive right into an example, 44 times 24. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. Then, instead of beginning with the ones place digit, we'll start with the tens place digit. This adjustment simplifies the mental workload, and minimizes the chances of mistakes. So, we multiply 2 by 4, giving us 8. Next, we multiply 2 by 4, resulting in 8. Moving on to the other number, 4 multiplied by 4 equals 16. We write down 6 and carry over the 1. And again, 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. Adding the carried over 1, we get 17. Now, we add these two sets of products, adding 0 and 6 gives us 6, and 8 plus 7 is 15. We write down the 5 and carry over the 1. 8 plus 1 plus the carried over 1, we get 10. Therefore, the product of 44 and 24 is 1056. Let's delve into the rationale behind this method. Consider 24 as 20 plus 4. Now, we can express 44 times 24 as, 44 times opening bracket, 20 plus 4, closing bracket. This expands into 44 times 20 plus 44 times 4. Calculating. We get 880 for 44 times 20, and 176 for 44 times 4. Adding these results together, 880 plus 176 equals 1056. So this 1056 equal to this part, this 880 equals to here, and 176 is here. And this explain why we need add these two number here in the column method. Let's do another example, 25 times 68. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 6 by 5, giving us 30. We write down the zero and carry over the 3. Next, we multiply 6 by 2, resulting in 12. Adding the carried over 3 to 12, we get 15. Moving on to the other number, 8 multiplied by 5 equals 40. We write down the 0 and carry over the 4, and 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. Adding the carried over 4 to 16, we get 20. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 0 gives us 0. Here same things, it is 0. 5 plus 2 is 7, and here is 1. Therefore, the product of 25 and 68 is 1700. Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 68 as 60 plus 8. Now, we can express 25 times 68 as 25 times opening bracket 60 plus 8 closing bracket. This expands into 25 times 60 plus 25 times 8. Calculating, we get 1500 for 25 times 60, and 200 for 25 times 8. Adding these results together, 1500 plus 200, equals 1700. So this 1700 equal to this part, this 1500 equals to here, and 200 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Let's do another example. 39 times 61. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 6 by 9, giving us 54. We write down the 4, and carry over the 5. Next, we multiply 6 by 3, resulting in 18. Adding the carried over 5 to 18, we get 23. Moving on to the other number, 1 multiplied by 9, equals 9. And 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 9, gives us 9. 4 plus 3 is 7. Here is 3, and here is 2. Therefore, the product of 39 and 61 is 2379. Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 61 as 60 plus 1. Now, we can express 39 times 61 as, 
39 times opening bracket 60 plus 1 closing bracket. This expands into 39 times 60 plus 39 times 1. Calculating, we get 2340 for 39 times 60, and 39 for 39 times 1. Adding these results together, 2340 plus 39, equals 2379. So this 2379 equal to this part, this 2340 equals to here, and 39 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Let's do another example, 234 times 23. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 2 by 4, giving us 8. Next, we multiply 2 by 3, resulting in 6. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Moving on to the other number, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. We write down the 2, and carry over the 1. Next, we multiply 3 by 3, resulting in 9. 9 plus the carried over 1 is 10 we write down the 0, and carry over the 1. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 plus the carried over 1 is 7. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 2 gives us 2, 8 plus 0 is 8, and 6 plus 7 is 13. Write down 3 and carry over the 1. 4 plus the carried over 1 is 5. Therefore, the product of 234 and 23 is 5,382. Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 23 as 20 plus 3. Now, we can express 234 times 23 as 234 times opening bracket 20 plus 3 closing bracket. This expands into 234 times 20 plus 234 times 3. Calculating, we get 4680 for 234 times 20, and 702 for 234 times 3. Adding these results together, 4680 plus 702 equals 5382. So this 5382 equal to this part, this 4680 equals to here, and 702 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon, to get new video updates. See you in the next video.